Hello, moving to the fifth module of BBOC. I request you to subscribe. Two more people are there requesting to subscribe my YouTube channel. Do subscribe my YouTube channel. Uh, it's a great difficulty. I am preparing this study material during my free time. Uh, I am at home recording this continuously recording my videos, small small videos, so that it will be easy for you people to understand. So moving to the fifth module, everything is more related. Okay, the module five, it is uh, trends in bioengineering, uh, muscular and skeletal system as scaffolds, scaffolds and tissue engineering, bioprinting techniques and materials, electrical tunnels and it is used in food science, DNA origami and biocomputing, bioimaging, artificial intelligence for disease diagnosis, bioconcrete, bioremediation and biomining. These are the topics on uh, module 5. Okay, so question uh, which is already circulated. Uh, describe how the muscular uh, um, skeletal system serves as the natural scaffold in uh, human body and evaluate their potential applications in tissue engineering. Level 3, 10 mass connected to force outcome 1. Mark distribution given as a description of muscular system as scaffolds, description of uh, skeletal system as scaffolds, evaluation of applications in tissue engineering for mass. Okay, so you can see the different uh, uh, how the uh, skeleton uh, as bone is structure is given, the detailed explanation given in my uh, 21BE45 class series that is last year's syllabus. Okay, here that much detail I am not going, no need of that because it's too specific for a, it's been specified by university. No need to go in depth like that. Okay, so representation of bone, cartilage, ligament, those are some of the terms that comes in that, therefore I represented there. Okay, so the tendon, tendon is how the bone is connected to the muscle, that is tendon, that connection with the bone muscle connection that is also very interesting. These are the representing the uh, axial and uh, appendicular skeleton. The one which is the front side, the one which is the back side behind. Okay, so those are represented that you may be knowing or you can just touch and feel it. Okay, now these are the different uh, shapes uh, which have been inspired uh, to make different type of joints. Okay, already the knee joint uh, can be made different uh, uh, parts uh, based on that uh, comparing to that uh, different uh, side type of uh, joints has been made so that it can exactly uh, mimic exactly copy uh, when we prepare uh, some bone replacement and uh, now straight away going to the Mars some introduction was given that we did to read the muscular and skeletal system serve as the vital uh, natural scaffolds scaffold means structure holding the skeleton Scaffolds in human body offering uh, structural support, mechanical strength, and uh, regenerative potential. Tissue engineering these uh, systems provide valuable insights and biomimetic approaches for uh, developing vascularization, regenerative capacity, biomechanical strength, hold promise for addressing complex medical challenges, and enhancing the quality of life for patients through innovative biotechnical solutions. So, that's just an introduction. Straight away, moving to the how much what to write to score marks for that question first uh, marks three marks for a description of a muscular system as scaffold uh, structure comprises of uh, skeletal muscles smooth muscles and uh, cardiac muscles uh, they are responsible for movement uh, posture and uh, heat production not only the skeleton even muscle also comes here muscular system as scaffold Okay, uh, scaffold role, skeletal muscles provide structural support and attachment points for bones, facilitating movement and stability. But you know, extra matrix ECM uh, in muscles, uh, it provides a framework for cell attachment and uh, signaling essential for tissue development. And these are the terms connected to muscle, muscular system as the structural material. Uh, muscular system as a scaffold, uh, structural support uh, the Vascularization potential, regenerative properties. Structure supports skeletal muscle offer a very good framework for uh, tissue engineering, which mimics uh, uh, their nature role in supporting mechanical loads and 
moon and sun. That means if muscular system, if you use as a, as the structural material, starting material, by using which the tissue engineering uh, can be done, then it will support like that. That is the meaning of that. Vascularization potential blood vessels. Uh, that is vascularization. Blood vessels embedded within uh, muscles it enhance nutrient and uh, oxygen delivery, crucial for engineered tissue uh, viability. Regenerative property muscles possess inherent uh, regenerative capabilities, which can be uh, used to develop therapies for muscle injuries and the diseases. Now, the so skeletal system has evolved. Skeletal system includes bones, cartilage, ligaments, and the tendons. They represent the it provides framework support and uh, protection for soft tissue and organs. Bones serve as a rigid structure for uh, muscle attachment and uh, act as a reservoir for uh, the minerals. Bone marrow it, that produces blood cells and uh, store fat, uh, critical for uh, systemic health and immune function. Now, as a scaffold, the skeletal system, if you use it as a scaffold, uh, uh, that is a structural. Uh, support uh, for uh, tissue engineering growth of something uh, not natural growth which we control human controlled growth for that skeletal system also can be used as a scaffold biomechanical strength is there uh, osteogenic potential is there uh, tissue engineering applications also it can be used bones provide mechanical support and stability which is pretty much essential for uh, locomotion and protection of uh, the vital uh, organs bone tissue has Osteogenic cells which are capable of forming new bone, aiding in fracture, healing and bone regeneration. So osteogenic cells are the one which makes cure the bone uh, fracture, healing all those. They are responsible. Tissue engineering application, bone scuffers can be utilized to repair fracture, uh, uh, fracture, uh, reconstruct bone defects and develop uh, synthetic bone substitutes. Application will go, that is interesting. Application like uh, muscular system uh, application, uh, I mean muscle regeneration, functional muscle uh, constructs and uh, drug testing platforms. So muscle regeneration, uh, uh, it utilizes muscle derived system, uh, stem cells uh, that they are called satellite cells in, uh, in combination with uh, biomaterial scaffolds to regenerate injured or uh, diseased muscle tissues uh, develops engineered muscle tissue for creating uh, muscular uh, dystrophies or traumatic injuries enhancing functional recovery uses uh, tissue model to study the drug efficiency and uh, toxicity minimizing animal testing and accelerating character references so such systems which are developed outside uh, copying that of uh, or with that help of muscle or uh, the selector system it can be used for the different type of uh, studies as well as applications because it is the natural system as such it is used okay so bone tissue engineering orthopedic implants personalized medicine and all those things are kept moving to the next question because it is connected to the same similar type so I'm not going to i am going to record along with this only Okay, so explain the role of scaffolds in tissue engineering and analyze the criteria for selecting materials for scaffolds. Mark distribution, explanation of the role of scaffold in tissue engineering for marks. Analyze of criteria of selecting scaffold material six marks. So scaffolds they play a very vital role in uh, uh, in tissue engineering by providing structural support, biochemical cues for cell growth and in the selection of the scaffold materials, it involves careful concentration of biocompatibility, biodegradability, mechanical properties, porosity, surface characteristics, and fabrication methods. By meeting these criteria, scaffold based approaches enable the development of innovative biomedical solutions, tissue repair, regeneration, why I'm ready. Okay, then we go to the question answer. Explanation of role of scaffolds in tissue engineering. The role of scaffolds. Scaffolds, they are the three dimensional structure which will support the cell attachment, their growth, and tissue formation in tissue engineering. I could have kept this question as first and 
the second first question as the second now it is easy okay so uh, this is what this meaning of exact meaning of scaffolds are made and they are prepared uh, either using uh, the bond support or by using the muscles uh, support uh, a structure is made uh, in which uh, the growth of the other uh, tissues cell growth is uh, monitored or uh, done okay so provide a framework to for cell to organize different differentiate into functional tissues they mimic the ecm extracellular matrix uh, because uh, once uh, if you take the muscle structure the body structure if you remove completely the uh, the organic part from that the remaining structure as such that is called as the extracellular matrix that is a, which offers a very good mechanical support and the biochemical uh, tools necessary for tissue generation so specific uh, functions of scaffolds uh, they are used in cell attachment mechanical support uh, spatial organization controlling the pore size porosity and uh, architecture guide cell uh, migration proliferation and differentiation applications in tissue engineering they are used in organ uh, regeneration bone and uh, cartilage repair skin tissue engineering these are the applications on uh, based on tissue engineering okay it can be used even to prepare liver heart kidney those regeneration it can be used this scaffold can be used for uh, uh, growing uh, the or yeah uh, growing liver heart and kidneys okay it can be used uh, to repair bone defects uh, fracture and uh, cartilage injuries it can be used skin tissue engineering developing skin substitute for uh, wound healing mm. uh, burn treatments enhancing healing outcomes a very good application of uh, the scaffolds of a muscle as well as the bone can be used as such uh, can use in tissue engineering criteria for scaffold uh, material selection uh, what are the uh, materials which mimic or which can be it can use along with this uh, uh, muscular or uh, skeletal uh, scaffold uh, to identify that material we need to identify check whether it is biocompatible or not whether it has got the biodegradability whether it has got the required uh, mechanical uh, properties porosity and uh, interconnectivity surface characteristics uh, fabrication methods also a very important role uh, will touch the uh, example first collagen fibrin arginate ketosan these are some of the polymers are available naturally available poly polymers uh, it can be used uh, as an application for this synthetic polymers like polylactic acid cocaicoic acid plga eeg pcl these are my uh, such uh, polymers which i studied already in my uh, phd work very good polymers uh, hydroxy hepatite embedded as scaffolds for uh, bone regeneration ecm derived scaffolds for tissue like heart valve or the skin uh, that is ecm the uh, decelerized uh, uh, ecm it can be used okay now moving to the uh, criteria biocompatibility if you have to be very sure that a scaffold does not uh, uh, create any immune response uh, or the toxic effect uh, cytotoxic effect uh, support cell viability proliferation and function within the scaffold and with uh, environment uh, all that natural functioning should happen as such uh, scaffold material should de uh, degrade at a rate compatible with the tissue regeneration and uh, uh, means scaffold material wherever the, the tissue is start regenerating accordingly that um, scaffold material should uh, de degrade then only it can grow the tissue can grow the products of degradation uh, should be non toxic uh, easily metabolized or uh, excreted by the body okay the, even after degradation it should go out uh, in that uh, uh, material of degradation it should be non toxic also mechanical properties should match mechanical strength and elasticity to the target uh, tissue to which uh, uh, to withstand the physiological uh, loads uh, it should have a stiffness a flexibility tailored means it could be able to adjust it based on the requirement the stiffness the flexibility could be able to able to control 
control the pore size distribution uh, interconnected to facilitate nutrient uh, diffusion and uh, uh, waste removal optimizes surface area for cell adhesion and and infiltration uh, throughout the scaffold the surface chemistry and topography influence the cell scaffold in the, uh, interactions affecting cell adhesion migration and uh, differentiation modify surface properties to enhance the bio activity and promote specific cell uh, behaviors so application methods like uh, uh, 3D printing, uh, which will come on the next topic uh, after this video. Uh, next, next video, it comes bio printing, 3D printing, uh, electro spinning, uh, decellularization, or the methods which are used. Ensure scaffold structure can be tailored to meet the patient's specific needs and uh, the clinical requirements. That's about uh, the, the uh, yeah, next one that's bio printing. By printing 3D printing only. A normal uh, mechanical engineering concept 3D printing is the, the different shapes are printed. The same concept, same thing by using uh, materials like this type of materials, which are uh, biologically uh, means biocompatible materials and having the function uh, which can match with that of uh, the natural uh, body organs. Using that, we can. Uh, you can just print the three-dimensional printing. It is possible. They are people are doing. They are, uh, are working. Working um, uh, organs are have been prepared. So where we reached uh, the growth of uh, the research. Okay. So that's about the first topic. Uh, that is scaffold, uh, muscle cell skeleton. As a scaffold, scaffold means structural support. Uh, for the growth of a different type of cells and tissues so that is only explained in this video in depth the two different type of questions are framed accordingly okay no need to draw these figures and all only the content you should match with your uh, when you write in exam okay thank you very much uh, next video i will cover by your printing.